welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna be doing an everyday polished look. You know those days that you wanna look like the best version of you, but you don't wanna spend a lot of time on makeup? That's this look. Uh, and we're gonna be pulling out Jones Road to do it. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everyone, uh, as I said, this is gonna be a Jones Road video. I'm wearing the Jones Road sweatshirt. She has one that, this is the hoodie. Uh, this is black and it's got the bright pink lettering. It's actually a really comfortable sweatshirt. She has a crew neck. Um, this is the hoodie. Um, and I think it's perfect that she has like a crew neck and a hoodie as part of her line because I think it just, it's a perfect symbol for her makeup line, Jones Road. All of these products are things that will make you look a more polished you. I think they are easy to use, they're multi-purpose, they're very pretty, but they're not complicated, it doesn't take a lot of steps, um, and it's it's a understated aesthetic, a streamlined aesthetic. Uh, I think a lot of us can appreciate. I think a lot of us are you know, running around day to day, we don't necessarily have a lot of time to do a lot of makeup, or nor do we necessarily want to do a lot of makeup. And um, especially as we get older, I think some people prefer to actually do a little less makeup. Um, and if you don't, if you like the uh, more elaborate makeup, that's cool too. Uh, but this is an option uh, for those of you who are looking for a more, I say, understated elegance. So um, I have a bunch of products by Jones Road. I actually did a video on the Jones collection. Last year or the year before, oh my goodness, I don't even know. It might've been two years that she's come out with her products. I'm not sure. Um, and I can say that overall, they're all really good. The standout, standout product to me uh, at the time was the mascara, and I still love the mascara. Um, it was sold out for like the longest time and it's not available online right now. Um, I have a Credo Beauty by me, which is downtown Boston which does carry Jones Road. I have yet to be able to check out whether or not they have it in stock, but the mascara is excellent. Uh, all right, so I don't have the face pencil. I don't have the pencil that, what she basically says is, you know, you can use it as like a concealer stick slash um, foundation. I don't have that product. I would like to get that product, but I don't have it. So what I'm gonna use today is the Yves Saint Laurent New. This is the um, tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna use this because um, I think it's I think it's in line with the Jones Road uh, aesthetic. Um, you know, like a tinted moisturizer. I don't have, like I said, I don't have the face pencil. So I put on the the e Saint Laurent New. I think it's I think it's good for what we're we're trying to achieve today. Um, so let's go through the products that I do have, um, so we can talk about like what we're gonna use today. So I have four of the Miracle Bombs. I have Bronze, I have Tawny, I have Dusty Rose, and I have Flushed. Flushed is the new one. We're gonna kinda use that as the blush today, but anyway, we'll get into that too in a minute. Um, I have the Sparkle Wash in Midas. I have the Cool Gloss, which is like the lip product, in Mocha Shimmer, which is a great shade. I have a couple of the pencils. I have, um, these are the eyeliners. The, I have them in Onyx, I have it in Brown, and then I have the newest shade, Ivy, so we'll talk about that. Then I have three of the shadows, the best shadows, the best eyeliners, the best shadows. Uh, these are single shadows. And I have them in Penny, which is kind of like a shimmery shade. We have Chic, if I could open it. We have Chic, which is just like a creamy white shade. And then we have Copper, which again is more of a shimmery shade. I thought this would be a good shade for me. And then I have the Just a Sex. These are bright eyes. The description is, a innovative formula you never knew you needed with a weightless cushiony texture. This clean eyeshadow imparts a crease proof wash of luminous color across the lids. So I think this is more like a wash of color where the shadows have a little bit more depth um, depending on what you're like looking for that day. Um, okay, so 
There's a couple, like I said, there's a couple of products I don't have. I don't have the lip and cheek stick. I don't have the face pencil. Um, I don't have the brow pencil, which I've heard is good. I don't have that. I have the mascara. I don't have the oil stick. I don't have the, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I'm missing. No, I think that's it. So I've got most of the products, most of them. Okay, so let's start with the Miracle Balm. These are, you have to break the seal on these to get them to work. So basically you have to push your finger and smush um, and then you get the color. So this one is Tawny. It's one of the uh, deeper ones. This one is Bronze. And although they look like deep in the pots, they're not. This one is a Dusty Rose, which I haven't used yet. There's actually some satisfaction in doing this, I gotta tell you guys. And you've had like a rough week like I've had. Uh, this is Dusty Rose. Yeah, it's been, it's been one of those weeks. Dusty Rose. And last, but certainly not least, is Flushed. This is the new one. These have a scent. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like a light scent. I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, we'll do Flushed here. Flushed is a little bit more pigmented than the Dusty Rose. So the first one, as I said, is Tawny. Second one is bronze, right? Bronze, just make sure. Yep, uh, third one is dusty rose, and this is flushed. And these can be used all over the face. They can be used just in certain areas. And I'm gonna show you today how I'm gonna use all four of them. They, on me, and I have very dry skin, if you use too much, I don't think it looks great when you use too much. That's just me. Um, so we're gonna use the, um, Tawny first, and the Tawny has more of like this cool undertone. So I actually like to take it and kind of put it almost like a contour on me, but I don't use a lot of it. I, I really feel like these products are, um, what's the word? They're not, they're not oily. They're, I'm trying to think of the best, emollient. They are emollient. So if you have very oily skin, I don't know if you'd like these. I mean, I'll I, I, you know, ask all of you guys out there, for those of you who are, are watching that have more like oilier skin, have you used these and do they work for you? Do you, do you feel like they're, you know, appropriate for you? They say that they're good for, you know, it says Miracle Balm, swiping my hands off. Um, Miracle Balm All Over Glow. Uh, it's a soft focus, moisture to protect and enhance skin, a light reflecting super product that's as versatile and as simple to use. Wear Miracle Balm alone or layer on top of foundation for an instant refresh. So, you know, it's basically for everyone, um, but I feel like because it's a balm, because it's, and it says it right in its name, it's a balm. And because it's emollient, I don't know. I think for an oilier skin type, I don't think this would be great, but you know, like I said, for all of those of you who are out there that have an oily or skin type that use this product, let me know. Okay, so now this is the bronze, and so I use this exactly like I would use um, a bronzer, like a highlighter. Um, and I say like a highlighter because it has this like, you can see like glowy effect. So it's a bronzer slash highlighter because there's not, although, it looks, like I said, in the in the thing, very deep. It's not. It's not a very deep shade. I am very, very pale, as you all know, and it it doesn't impart a actual real bronze to my face. It has a bronzy glow to it, as you can see, um, and it looks quite nice. But it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not a bronzer. Um, and so for somebody who has a deeper skin tone, I think you get more of that bronzy glow, but I don't think you really get a, uh, a deepening of, of your skin tone, which again is, is kind of the purpose of these products. They aren't meant to be, they're, they're meant to be a glow. You know, she says it in her description, it's meant to make you look healthy and flushed. 
um, and it's it's like an easy, quick thing to use. All right, so now the Dusty Rose, which I hadn't broken the, the skin of yet, is more of that, you know, healthy, like pink. It does not have a lot of pigment. So I kind of use it like this, put a little bit on my lips, just to keep them hydrated because my lips get very dry um, while I'm talking to you, especially they, they kind of dry out. It's interesting. They like immediately get yucky. Um, they get very cracked. So I do it like that. And now this flush shade, we're going to pop this and this should be pinker. Yeah, it, it definitely is a little bit more pigmented pink, but it's not too much. Like you look at it in the pan. I know it looks a little scary, but it's not like that on the face. Again, remember how pale I am. So this is not going to be too pigmented, but you do have to admit it imparts a beautiful glow to the face that stays with you um, or stays with me anyway, all day. So because I have dry skin for me, these products are excellent. But if you use too much of these, I feel like your, my skin gets like too emollient, too balmy, too sticky. So I try to keep it to a minimum how much I use. Generally, I don't use all four products at once, but I wanted to show you like how easy they are to use. They do impart a beautiful glow to the skin. They make you look very healthy um, and they're very easy to use, like super easy to use. Um, okay, so the pencils, let me show you the shades. This is brown. These are really super soft pencils. They're really, they are good pencils. I don't know if they're the best pencils, but they're really good pencils. Uh, black and now the Ivy. Those are the three shades, the brown, the black, and the ivy. The ivy is a really pretty green, has a nice sparkle to it, which I really like. Eyeshadows, we're gonna take, we're gonna take the deepest shade that I have, which is the penny. And let's, that's what the shade looks like. And like I said, the shadows are deeper than the Just a Sec, because the Just a Sec are more of that like wash of color. So let's take that. We've got that one. Let me just show you on the back of my hand. We've got um, copper. Copper's very shimmery. And we've got chic, which is like a good matte white. So copper. No, I'm sorry, Penny, Copper, and Chic. I picked very neutral, very easy to use shades for every day. I think you can see that that would work for a quick and easy look. All right, and just the sex, I have bronze and I have topaz, which go really well with the eyeshadows. Um, this is the topaz, it's like a sheer wash. And then the bronze, here's the topaz. Here's the bronze. You can see it's just like a wash of color. Let's take the penny shade. It's a beautiful shade. And again, I'm gonna do this like I would do, you know, if I was just trying to look, pull together, easy, quick, fast. Exactly how I'd do it if I was getting ready for the day. Is what I think is so great about this line. Just simple and easy to use. Okay, that's the, that's the penny. Let's take the chic, which is the white matte. And then let's take the copper. They go on super easily, very smooth formula. Done real time, super easy to use, three shades. Done, right, easy. Um, so now let's take the, uh, let's use the, the bronze. This is the just a sec. Cause I just want to show you like put it on my finger and just like put it here on the outside of the eye just to enhance it a little. If I wanted to like zhuzh it up a little, let's say I wanted to take it from day into night and I just want it to be a little bit more something. Put a little bit of that on. Then I could go in with the, um, this is the topaz. Yeah, that's the topaz shade. And like I said, those are a wash of color. So if you put them on by themselves, they're just gonna be like a beautiful shimmery wash, but you won't really have as much pigment as you have 
with the the actual eyeshadows the best eyeshadows okay so that's what i i've got as an eye look i think it's stunning i think it's beautiful and to be honest this i wouldn't even do this much i'd probably just use like the eye the just a sec by itself or maybe two of the shades or maybe all three like i did with the eyeshadow and that would be it because most of the time i don't have time to really spend on like getting it all perfect um so uh, we can also put on the eyeliner. So Ivy, of course, is my favorite, but I think for today, the brown shade is kind of what I think I would probably do because the green might be, well, you know what? Let's just go with the green. Everybody wants to see the green on. Let's do the green. There is the green. I'll run it under the, I'll do the green on the lower lash line as well. Her liners are really good. Um, they're a little bit drier than like some of my other, like my Chanel waterproof liners, but I find that they really stay on. They don't drag. So it's not like you have to pull at them, but they are a little bit drier than like say the Chanel waterproof ones. Um, but I do like them. I think they're really good. And I like the fact that they just stay on my eyes. Like I don't have any problems with them coming off, which is great. And they don't smudge throughout the day. So I'm going to put the Jones Road mascara on. Before I do that, I want to show you the sparkle wash. Now the sparkle wash comes in one, two, three, four, seven shades. Um, I have it in Midas, which I think is described. Let's see which one Midas is described as. Huh, it doesn't actually say how they describe the shade. It's kind of in the middle. Like it's not the deepest. It's not the lightest. <laughs> um, it kind of has a platinum kind of reflective shade. Um, there's bronze, Midas, cool pink, barely pink, gilded, and so pretty. Now, I only have this one, but I have been meaning to pick up more, and I really should. I should just pick up more shades. But I want to show you what it does to your eyes. So you see this look that I have on. This is the three eyeshadow shades and the two Just a Sex on top. So it's a little bit more pronounced, and now I'm like a little bit more done, I guess. And now I have on the liner. But watch what happens when I put this on top. This reminds me a little bit of the Boy Tears that Hindash just came out with. So you can put it on like that, right? Just let it dry down. Um, it stays wet for a little while, but it doesn't stay wet for, for very long. Once it dries just a little bit, you can build it. So you can make it more intense. And it does not crease, guys. That's the thing that I find amazing about this. Like throughout the day, like you have it on and it does not at all crease, which is for a sparkly kind of thing like this, I gotta say that's pretty amazing. I'm just kind of letting it air dry. So you can build it and make it more intense, more reflective. Um, and even if you do a couple of coats, it's not gonna crack. It's not gonna, it's not gonna look funny. Um, but I have to say it's one of the few like really shimmery, eye products that I was like, yeah, I could see me using. And the reason is because, and the Hindash one is similar to this, um, but I don't know, I like this one better. It's just, I, I just like the formula better. It's shimmery, it's, um, you can definitely notice it. It's, it's certainly a noticeable shimmer and look, but it's not like over the top. I don't know how to explain it. It makes the eyes look metallic and foiled um but it doesn't it's not um too much like it's just really pretty and and it works for work and it works for going out and i really like this product and I, like i said i want to pick up more shades I, what I want to do is go into the, the Credo Beauty that's downtown so I see if they have a mascara, pick up a mas another mascara, um, but also take a look at like the face pencil to figure out what shade I would be um, and maybe pick up the brow pencil to figure out what shade I'd be, all that good stuff. And then get more of these because I just think that's a beautiful look without being, you know, too flashy. Again, if you like a really flashy look, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying I don't generally do that. I like this, which is, it's it's sparkly and it's shimmery, but it's elegant. And I just think it's understated as well. And I'm not exactly sure how she pulled that off, but I don't know, I think it looks really good. Okay, so Jones Road Mascara is on. It's an excellent mascara, guys. It's just, I mean, 
it's really good. I, I don't know if that's why it's been sold out <laughs> for forever. I mean, I get it. If that's the reason and the only reason, it makes sense because it's a really good mascara, but it may be a supply chain issue. I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, um, it's a great mascara. But I think you can see, like, this is a very elegant, I think night, you could wear this at night out kind of look, right? Um, so you can do a really simple every day I'm running to the grocery store, I just want to put on one shade all the way until I think a very elegant, very elevated look that you could wear out. Um, I think these products are really multi-purpose. This is the cool gloss. I have it in, did I say bronze shimmer? I think it's bronze shimmer. Let me just double check and make sure. Um, yes, it's bronze shimmer. I don't love this. This is the only product where I'm just kind of like, eh. And I, I think why, one, I don't like these little squeezy tubes. Uh, it's just not my thing. So I end up kind of putting it on, on my finger and then putting it on my lips, which I don't know. I just don't really enjoy that. The other reason is it has a taste. It, and you can see it on my face because I'm like making this face. Um, it's got a peppermint kind of taste and I don't, I don't like the taste of it. I could taste it in my mouth and I don't like it. The gloss, in my opinion, is just very, very sheer and very shimmery, which again is fine. I understand the overall aesthetic, uh, especially the beginning, was more like just a no makeup, no makeup look. But I think I would love to see is like a sheer lipstick. Like the Merit lipsticks are great. They're like a sheer lipstick, but they have like a satin, they have a finish to them. I don't know. I'd love to see something like that from her. Maybe she's, maybe she's making that as we speak. Um, but the gloss, I just, I don't love the gloss. Um, there is the, um, she does have the lip and cheek stick, which comes in a number of different shades. And maybe that one is better. Like, uh, I don't know, more of what I would like. This just seems like a messy gloss. Um, and the taste actually bothers me. Like it's, it's unpleasant when you get it in your mouth. So I just, I don't, I don't love that. But this is the only product that I would consider for me a fail. Everything else that she has, um, I really like. And I think it just creates a really beautiful, elegant, simple look um, that can go from the office to a night out really easily. All you have to do, like what I would do, is do what I did on my eyes. I build it up a little bit. I'd go from the eye, I'd probably use just a sec like during the day, and then I put some eyeshadow on, and then I take the shimmer gloss and put it on the shimmer stick and put it on top. Um, I smudge out the eyeliner to make it a little bit more intense, go in with the mascara, and uh, and then do like a heavier lip. That's kind of what I do. Um, but I think it's super easy, super pretty on the skin, um, and I just think it, you know, the, the balms make a really pretty, uh, glowy look. I don't have any highlighter on today. I don't have technically a bronzer contour or blush. I have on the balms, you know, sitting in for all those products. And I do think it gives a very healthy glow to the skin. Now, like I said, I don't have her face pencil. I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent New. So it'll be interesting to see how the face pencil works with all of this. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to pick that up in the next couple of months and we'll see how that works. But all the other products I think are really excellent. Um, I, easy to use, easy to wear, you, you know, multi-purpose, they're great. And as she says, uh, the tagline is, I don't want, I want to make sure I get it right. And the unofficial motto that she uses, um, and I'm going to only say part of it, is how not to look like so I'm not exactly sure what I can say and what I can't say on the channel. So, uh, for advertising purposes. So anyway, the hashtag is how not to look like, and I think this is how you do it. You know, you get up, you don't have a lot of time, at least I don't. You want something that's simple and easy to do. All her products are simple and easy to use. Self-explanatory, multi-purpose, looks really pretty, stays on the face. And again, I love everything except for the gloss. So but everything else really I think is, is excellent for everyday wear. So that's our everyday, uh, more polished, best version of you kind of look. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.